Hello there, and you're again joined by Mr. Duncan. What you're going to be doing today is something that's actually really quick and really easy. It sounds really fancy, but we'll show you how to do it really soon. So, what we're looking at is strengths and weaknesses of Amnesty International. Looking at the strengths and the weaknesses of Amnesty International's view. We learned before last time that Amnesty International are against the death penalty. And they said many reasons why they think it's bad. Well, today, when we look at strengths and weaknesses, all we're looking at is what's good about their view and what's bad about their view. It's as easy as that. Well, get a little bit more in depth in the next slide and let's go. So, there are two main types of strength and weakness that we look at when we look at RMPS and other academic subjects. Just a fancy word, really. Well, um, the two types of strengths and weaknesses that we look at are this. Right? First of all, to find strengths and weaknesses, good things and bad things about a viewpoint, anyone's viewpoint, in any argument, we look at consequences. Now, I know you've heard of consequences as being a bad thing. You know, if you, if you misbehave, there'll be consequences. Well, actually, consequences can be good or bad. Right? Um, consequences just mean something that happens after something because of something else. What that means is that good consequences are a strength of a view and bad consequences are a weakness of a view. So, have a think about Amnesty International's view. They want to ban the death penalty. What are some good consequences of banning the death penalty? Good things that will happen if we ban it. What are some bad consequences? Some bad things that will happen when we ban it. These are good things about the argument and bad things about the argument. Strengths and weaknesses. We'll look at some examples later to help you understand more. So, what about another way of getting strengths and weaknesses that sound really good and sound show that you're you know, learning a lot? Well, we can also look at reasons why people will agree with a viewpoint and say that's a good thing, or reasons why people will disagree. We can say that's a bad thing about a viewpoint, strengths and weaknesses. So what do I mean? Look, reasons why people agree with a view are strengths of the viewpoint, right? And reasons why people disagree are the weakness of the viewpoint. Think about Amnesty International. Why would people agree with them? That's a strength of their argument. All right? Think who they are. Big organisation, so on and so on. All right? um, there you have some reasons why people will agree. That's strengths. Have a think why people would disagree with Amnesty International, disagree with banning the death penalty. These reasons why people disagree with the viewpoint are will be weaknesses of the viewpoint. So, that's it. It's as easy as that. I'll talk you through a couple of examples of strengths, a couple of examples of weaknesses, and that's us done.